Hey, this is Ed Logan. I want to welcome you to Fruit for Your Life. Hey, I'm down here in Fort Lauderdale or Pembroke Pines, Florida. So I'm down here uh, enjoying myself. Such a beautiful state, such a beautiful area. Um, with my eyes wide open, I now see why this area down here is so important. You know, people can give negative um, things about the state of Florida. They can give the negatives. I'm gonna give you some of the positives um, about this state. The fruit here is awesome. The fruit is, let me, let me tell you something. Uh, I ate a mango this week. I mean, I've eaten lots of fruit, but my first experience was a mango. And I truly have to tell you, I've had lots of mangoes. But this was the first mango that I have ever really, truly tasted down here. It was awesome. the best mango I've ever eaten. It is sourced from here. I got to meet the people who, who raised it. Got to see the farm that it came from. And when I ate it, it was absolutely amazing. Where I'm from, you don't get fruit that actually tastes like that. Of course, you can hear the busy intersection behind me. Um, just totally beautiful. You can see the trees and everything behind me. Just, just totally beautiful. The whole state, you know, I think it's just beautiful. There are some things about the state that I'm like surprised, but you know, it's just so beautiful down here. The weather is awesome, but the fruit, which is the reason why I'm here, is totally amazing. Uh, my, my life, let me tell you this, my life has been changed since I have been here. Um, as many of you know, as I've told you before, I've actually lived here before. I've lived down in the Miami area, um, the Miami Lakes area. And at that time, heck, I was sneaking and going to the bakery, eating Danishes, going to Vicky Bakery, um, eating the flans and all those things. I didn't pay attention to fruit. I didn't know what good fruit was. You know, I lived here for a short time. But coming back on this journey, coming down here, this journey is absolutely, I, I, I don't have the words for it. When I taste the fruit that's down here and is sourced from here, it just does something to my being. It does something to my inside. It's like there's a connection that I'm having. My eyes are wide open since since I, I'm here. Um, and again, the mo one of the most important things is, is I'm able to source the fruit that I eat. I'm able to get it here. I'm able to go to the farms and see it and get it while I'm here, which to me, is so important no longer does my fruit at least while i'm here travel by way of trucks no longer is it gas i'm getting the real fruit from the place that i'm getting and i'm able to taste everything in the fruit so you just have to understand when you become a fruitarian things change in your in your being they change even in your spirit um, and you're able to understand and examine things a little closely so for those of you who are not fruitarians, you just have to understand <laughs> these are things that happen. For those of you who are thinking about it, these are things that is going to take place with you. Things are gonna be different for you. The weather is amazing. And I understand next week, there looks like there may be another hurricane coming to the state and we'll be gone, I'll be gone by then. Uh, but the weather here is absolutely amazing. And for those of you who have concerned about hurricanes, look, see this tree behind me? Been here for years. Been through many hurricanes. You see the hotel that's behind me? It's been here for years. It's been through many hurricanes. So people talk about the scurs of hurricane. I wouldn't live there because of the hurricanes. Listen, these places and these things that I'm seeing, they've been through many hurricanes. So. This place is awesome. I love it. I really do, I love it. So I hope you can tell, you know, this breezy um, helicopter flying by. So I hope you're not picking that up too much, but I, I'm in a, a busy place. Uh, but it, again, once again, it's awesome. Look, I love the foliage here. And I look at the trees, 
that are around, I like I connect with it. Um, I, when, when, when I look at the plants that are being grown, I connect with it. Uh, when I look at the flowers that are growing, I mean, like I connect with it. I totally understand. So there's something special and something amazing that has taken place in me even since I have been here. Um, there's a part of this place that I feel connected with, okay? Just because I'm here, I feel that, all right? So kind of weird to, and to be able to understand, it's kind of weird for me to be able to explain it, but Florida is a great place when it comes to your food. It really is. So let me tell you a little bit about the area that I, areas that I touched. <clears throat> we went to Homestead, Florida. Now, many of you, because you're not from Florida, you may not understand the significance and the importance of Homestead, Miami, Florida. So basically, Homestead is like a suburb of Miami. It's one of the only places, other than the Key West as well, it's one of the only places in the United States that you can grow exotic fruit. That's what's so special about it. So as I was in Homestead, you know, the video that I actually did um, that you all saw last week, uh, that video was done in Homestead, Florida. Uh, the Robert is here video that's in Homestead, Florida. Okay. So that's where a lot of produce um, that's where a lot of most of the exotic fruit that is grown in the United States comes from there. So I was able to go down through there. I was able to experience all of the fruit farms that are in the area. Absolutely amazing. This place supplies America with so much fruit and only in this area can you grow a lot of that fruit or it's going to travel internationally so you know when it travels internationally it's going to be gassed it's going to be refrigerated it's you know it's not going to be the same quality fruit that you ordinarily would get if you were here sourcing your food so to me that's very important is to be able to source your food from where you live so I was able to go through the area. I mean, we drove for miles, fruit farm after fruit farm after fruit farm after fruit farm. I mean, I was like a, I was like a kid in a candy store looking at these places. Also, where you, the fruit trees, you could go and buy fruit trees. If I had driven here, I would be taking fruit trees back to Kentucky with me. Um, even though I know I would have to keep them inside because of the weather, I was, I was willing to do it. But of course I flew down, so I'm not able to do that. But it's just amazing to me how, um, you know, pomegranate trees, uh, custard apple or uh, chamoyas trees are here, avocado trees, fig trees, all of these trees of exotic fruits are, are right here and you can get that fruit from here and I, it just man it y'all it connects with me I can't explain it to you it there's an excitement that comes with it is an excitement that's in my being being here where I can grow those particular things where I can buy those particular things where I can source it's a it's a source of buying the the most nutritious food available is right here in this area. So again, that excites me um, and I love that. It's, it's, it's beautiful being here. Uh, again, this area here, for those of you who don't know about zones, so you're only able to grow tropical fruits in particular zones. So Florida is the only place in the United States that has an 11. An 11 zone is down at the Key West area. Okay, so you can grow pretty much whatever tropical fruit you wanna grow in Key West because it is in zone 11. So when you come up a little bit into South Florida, then you have, you move into zone 10B. So 10B is right next to 11A. All right, so you can still grow whatever fruit trees that you would like to grow in this area. All right, so then right above that, you move into 10A. 
It's not as hot, but it's only a couple of degrees of temperature, but you can still grow whatever exotic fruit that you want to grow in that area. So you're gonna be looking from Key West all the way up to Lake Okeechobee. That is the prime area of growing fruit. All right, so you can pretty much grow what you wanna grow. So you can grow your coconut trees, you can grow your um, olive trees. You, you can grow whatever you wanna grow in these areas, except for citrus, because they need kind of like a cold spell uh, for those, they need a chill factor in order to be able to grow those things. So peaches won't grow that well down there, but above Lake Okeechobee, peaches would be great. Oranges are great. So anyway, this is the place to grow the fruit. And I think that's why I'm so connected with this area down here is because I know that it's, it's like a, it's almost like, let me tell you, it's like a part of my body now because I'm eating fruit and it's a part of my body. There is a connection that I have here in this area, which is able to produce what I eat which is able to carry that sa the same energy of what I eat in this area. That's what draws me. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's, it's not the people. I mean, though there are really nice people down here, that's not what draws me here. It's not the people, it's the food that is grown from the ground that draws me here. So it's been a beautiful experience. So. Every time that I've ever come to Florida and stayed in Florida, whether I did a vacation or whether I was here, uh, living here for ministry work, it was, I didn't have that connection that I have now with Florida. So, but I have that connection now because of food. So it, my whole experience, my whole outlook on my life of, <laughs> in Florida is totally changed. Uh, so just really think about those things. You know, if you're becoming a fruitarian, think about traveling and visiting places where you can take food back with you. I really wish that I could have taken a suitcase full of food back with me. I really wanted to do that, but you know, there's just reasons as to why I couldn't do that and why I wasn't willing to do that. But while I'm here, I'm having a great time, having an awesome time, uh, thank you all for uh, just allowing me to be able to come down here and unwind. I, uh, I, I did take a little bit of break from, from um, Facebook and from YouTube while I was here, though I did put up a couple of videos. I still was able to just get my mind off and just think you know, for myself, for my own personal reasons and things like that. But hey, I've enjoyed myself here. I love it. Um, I, we're gonna be flying back out. I'm sad that I have to leave this area from the fruit from which the, gr the ground actually produces the fruit that I eat. I'm really sad to be leaving it, going back up to a place where I can only grow, you know, blueberries, blackberries, um, you know, common things, strawberries, you know, those kind of things. I can grow in the state in which I live, but, there's this special kind of connection that I have here. And if you're planning to become a fruitarian or if you are a fruitarian, I would tell you to go out and experience, go travel to those places where you can experience where the fruit is being grown. As many of you know, a couple of weeks, three weeks ago to a month ago, I was in Costa Rica. So that was special to me. And now South Florida is very special to me. Um, so. Just wanted to give you my experience here and let you see the type of energy that is here that, that I have. Uh, and you're going to experience too when you come and visit those places that produces your food. It's gonna be a total different experience for you. Anyway, I was gonna do a live, but I said I better not do that. I, I wanted to make sure this was a nice, clear feed just to let you experience what I'm experience, experiencing and just let you see the beauty that is behind me. The, the sun. We've had nothing but sunny days since I've been here. So before we came, the week before we came was the hurricane. This week while I was here is absolutely beautiful and marvelous. Now there could possibly be another hurricane that is coming back behind after I leave. Um, but those are the things that come along with it. So don't let those things deter you. 
and uh, scare you from coming and visiting the place that is going to have connections with you. So, all right, hey, it's really been great. For those of you who are not subscribed to this channel who watch, please subscribe uh, to this channel. I plan to bring you more content. I plan to bring you more traveling, more experiences uh, that I am having, more food experiences that I'm having. I plan to bring you all of that content on this channel right here. So subscribe so that you do not miss any of it. Also click the bell for notifications. That way you'll know um, when I do put something up as well. So hey, you all take care. It has been great. If you subscribe to my channel, please put in the comment box that you subscribe so that I could personally thank you for subscribing to my channel. All right, y'all take care. I will see you on the next video.